I'm here to give you guys some tips on how you can start the zero waste lifestyle without spending any money. Welcome back to my channel. I'm so happy that you wanted to join me today because this topic is something that I'm thinking about a lot because social media is a huge, huge influence and especially on movements like Ghosts. So the zero waste movement as well as the low impact movement and the conscious consumer, you know, general communities are very dependent upon social media and because of this, Seriously, <laughs> I've been thinking about is that especially zero waste is usually portrayed as this very polished, very expensive lifestyle where you will need all sorts of tools in order for it to work or in order for you to succeed as a zero waster. You will need reusable straws, preferably the ones that look good on social media. You will need a stainless steel lunchbox. You will need fashionable canvas bags in all kinds of colors and in all kinds of shapes and sizes. You will need all of these things in order to succeed as a zero waster and I'm here to tell you that is not true. So one of the first things you probably know about zero waste is that zero waste pantries are the prettiest thing in the world and that's just how it is. We have all these equal sized mason jars with different kinds of bulk items in it and it looks so good. It is almost pornographic. It looks so nice. But not all people have access to bulk shops, myself included. Not all people have the capacity or you know, can afford uh, mason jars in same sizes. What's going on? What is this? And usually these containers look super, super new, so probably someone has spent money on building this thing. And what you can do instead, if you want to build your zero waste pantry, you can go to a thrift store or charity shop, anything, and you can find containers of all sorts, sizes, shapes and colors there. I found almost all of my mason jars in secondhand stores or in charity shops, thrift shops, whatever. This is also quite related to the stainless steel lunchbox, which is also super, super pretty, but there are alternatives. But it's the same. If you want a plastic free option for you to keep your food in, go check out thrift shops because they have all kinds of great things. But something you can also do, and hear me out on this, is use what you already have. I know, it's mental. You don't have to spend a huge amount of money to get new things. You don't even need to acquire new things. You can just use what you already have. So one of the most frequent questions I get is related to Tupperware. People ask me if they need to throw away their Tupperware that they've had for eight, 12 years. And I say, no, use them. Use them for God's sake, because Tupperware is, yes, it's made of plastic, but it's durable as AF. And if you like your containers, keep them. If you spend money on them somewhere and you now like them, keep them for God's sake. And don't throw them away and go out to purchase new plastic free things because that's not how it works. Okay, one sec. So I have a thing. Okay, so you know this from Instagram. Oh, it's, it's dirty on this side. But if you're just in the beginning starting your zero waste lifestyle, it's not necessary to go out and purchase something like this. Because you know what I also use? These. This is not mine, this is my boyfriend's, but he has tons of these plastic containers. The zero waste lifestyle is, if nothing, a no spend lifestyle. So if you can avoid buying new things, if you can avoid purchasing stuff and using money, do that. People also ask me where I get my canvas bags from, and that is a really good question because there isn't just a canvas bag store nearby, I mean, that is not how it works. And I do love my canvas bags, but if you cannot find a canvas bag, there are other options. You can, first of all, make your own canvas bags. You can make them from old t-shirts, you can make them from old pants, denim, stuff like that. You can do so many things. I do not have guides on it, but trust me, Pinterest is full of that stuff. You can just use your ordinary gym bag, school bag, whatever, and that will also be fine. Another thing you can do that doesn't require any money is instead of going out to purchase reusable straws, just don't use any straws because how necessary are they? If you aren't a disabled person, how necessary are straws anyway? As I said in the beginning of the video, one of the best things you can do in a zero waste lifestyle. Ba -ba. I don't know what that was. A tip I generally give to people who want to get started on zero waste is always don't go out and look for new things to buy. If there is something you need of any kind, 
check out thrift shops, check out secondhand stores because most of the time there will be something there that you can use. And also be creative with it because I have tons of things in my apartment that I know was created or made or produced or manufactured for one job, but now it has another job. Now I use it in a totally different way. And you can do that with all kinds of things. One of the easiest examples is I use the same glasses and bowls I use for food and for drinks, I also use as glasses because heck, it is not necessary to go out and buy shiny merchandise in order for zero waste to work. That is the biggest thing to remember. And when you do, you can start by creating a small little collection of zero waste items that require no spending whatsoever. I hope that you liked this video guys, if you did leave me a thumbs up that would make my day. If you want to see other videos like this, leave a comment down below and tell me do you want to see some zero waste essential videos because I can also do that. This video was made by support from my patron supporters, I'm so happy that you guys are here, thank you so much. If you want to become a patron supporter and see all kinds of exclusive details and all kinds of exclusive posts, I will leave a link down below and in the screen as well. Thank you so much for watching guys and have a really nice day. Take really good care of yourself. Until next time. Bye!